So for the next part of our normal map tutorial, what we're going to look at is something called explode baking. Now this is where you have a mesh in this kind of situation. So we've got a character here with some kind of weird shoulder pad. And uh, you can see our high poly model also has this included. But the problem here is that the shoulder pad is obscuring this part of the arm. So what that means is uh, that um, underneath the arm, the normal map bake isn't going to work properly. So let's snap our load poly into place. And notice how our smoothing groups are set up so that all the surrounding edges are hard and every other edge is soft. So if you just hold X and drag to snap this directly over the top of the other one um, and just check your outliner to make sure that your low poly is called low and your high poly is called high. Now remember that even though the high poly has UVs in this case it doesn't need them. So um, we'll select our low poly, we'll go into transfer maps, we'll add our low shape to here we'll select our high one and we'll add our high shape we'll go to normal maps and we'll save this I think I'm just going to call it test explode n and save as the target make sure we're in tangent space set this to 1024 we'll leave it on low for now wild space so all that's fine okay let's just check our uh, envelope, make sure that most things are in place pull these ones out slightly to make sure they are covering the mesh and that should be alright ok so if we just hit bake that shouldn't take too long. Okay, so we'll select our low poly and move this back over here. And we'll see that it looks like our bake has worked reasonably well. If we have a look under the arm, we can already see there are problems in there. So let's select our model here and view the normal map. Okay, and you can see the errors around the arm here and here. So everything else has worked fine but the but that area of the arm has issues. So how do we solve that kind of problem then? Well a nice easy fix actually is to um, if we just oh, I'll leave it there for now is to actually clone your low poly and stick it over there and that will be our actual game mesh. So if you want to you could call this game mesh or something like that and then this one will stay as our low poly and what we'll do is snap that back onto there go into face mode let's use F11 and then if we hold X and snap that might as well just snap it down onto the grid and then we'll select our high poly, again select that shoulder pelder pad and again drag it down to there. So it's directly sat on top but now it's not obscuring that arm. So it's called explode bacon and the reason it's called that is because normally you just pull each item you need to outwards away from the low poly so it's not covering anything. Okay so if we just duck back into here we should be able to keep all our settings and um, we'll call this one explode n2 and again just hit bake we'll select our low poly well, in fact we can go straight back over to this low poly because it's got the same material on it at least it should do or maybe not
So if we just view our here, we can see now we have no issues around that area here and everything's just baked out exactly as it was. So let's come back over to this one. And obviously the problems are under there. I haven't done the best example for this really. But um, we can see the issue on our map here. So if we just browse and find our new one, you can see the difference there. So there's our old broken one there. There's our new one with the nice bake. So we'll just load that one on. It's exactly the same, but we now have no issues under the arm. So you'd think in this particular case you might be able to get away with not doing that, but what if the character, the shoulder pad got blown off or the character could change uniform and so on. And also this problem is far more visible in other situations as well, so you do often need to explode baking. Um, but that's pretty much it. Just move the model, make sure it still sits directly over the high poly though, make sure, and make sure you move the high poly as well. And make sure you clone your original model so you don't lose the placement of where that asset went. So I normally have a game res mesh, but then I also have a low poly baking mesh as well. Okay, so that's explode baking.